Hello everyone. So, as I'm sure you've already guessed from the beautiful background and uh, the bright red flag waving in the background, uh, I've actually taken a bit of a detour, uh, which actually wasn't on the cards, but uh, I thought, well, you know, I just might as well. Uh, and so I'm actually at the city, the Swiss, the Swiss city of Lugano which is uh, it's actually one of uh, it's in the uh, the Swiss canton uh, region of uh, Ticino Tessin uh, and as you can see in, the, in, in, in my background I'm at the the beautiful Lake Lugano right now and uh, this is actually the and I'm standing on the passage that goes all the way around the, the beautiful Lake Lugano now I've actually taken the, uh, this detour because as uh, I've just uh, come from uh, dropping off my dad to the Bergamo airport which uh, for people who aren't already familiar with the with northern Italy Bergamo is actually uh, just slightly about 60 to 70 k's uh, east of Milan and it's also the Bergamo airport is actually also a, a, a quite a busy uh, European hub um, so yeah, I was just, I thought well, while I'm there, I'm just, I'm dropping off my dad, I'll just might as well just uh, do a detour and uh, uh, pay a visit to Switzerland while I'm at it because it's actually been seven years. When I was, back when I was still living in Italy, I actually did used to come here quite often because it was, it was only a three hour drive from, uh, from my place and uh, I actually, I adore Switzerland, it's actually, I think it's one of the best places in the world. Uh, and uh, and actually there's a lot of uh, evidence to support that but anyways so the idea behind this video is just to give you another glimpse into uh, southern Switzerland so by the way this is southern Switzerland uh, so the part that's directly attached or connected to um, uh, Lombardy region Italy's Lombardy region and uh, I'm so what I'm gonna do now is this is just a short video uh, to show you what you know uh, Lugano for people who are already familiar with this region uh, uh, looks like and the one thing is actually uh, a bit surprising as soon as uh, <laughs> we got across the border was uh, that not a lot of people are actually wearing uh, face masks and that's actually quite <laughs> that's a bit of a surprise because you know, in Italy you'll actually you, you do see quite a lot of people wearing face masks but uh, here what I've seen actually I still I'm yet to see a single person wearing a face mask so that's a bit of a surprise but uh, anyways I'm actually gonna stop talking and I uh, will just go straight to the, the beautiful Lake Lugano and I'm gonna make my way from here to towards uh, the other side of the lake uh, walking on this beautiful uh, passage pathway it goes all the way across to the other side of the lake so I'm just gonna switch my cam uh, to the rear camera and as soon as I do you'll get to see the beautiful Lake Lugano so here we go now for people who are actually interested in coming to Lugano uh, the some of the interesting facts about Lugano uh, and, and, and this uh, uh, the Chino it's in Ticino or the Tessin uh, in German. Uh, the region is that the, uh, it is an Italian speaking region. And uh, for people who already uh, are familiar with the, the demographics of Switzerland, uh, will know that Switzerland is actually divided into uh, um, some certain demographic regions. So the first and uh, the most prominent one, obviously, is the German. Uh, side which uh, it's uh, concentrated towards the north of Switzerland uh, and they speak obviously they speak German uh, the southern region is, uh, uh, is dominantly is dominated by the Italian uh, culture and they speak Italian in the in the southern part of Italy and then to the west it's the French uh, region with uh, obviously Geneva uh, being their hub and uh, so they are predominantly that's a predominantly French region now as I'm actually making my way towards the other side of the lake you can already see that uh, uh, 
the people here. There's quite a few people, but uh, to be honest, it's still not as busy as you'd actually find it on a, on a, on a typical Sunday. It is actually last time I was here. Uh, it was in 2013, and it was actually a lot busier than uh, what you see today. Uh, now, this uh, so Lugano uh, once again. It's uh, it's actually quite. Uh, it's not that far from Mil Mil Milan Airport, so uh, I guess it's uh, it'll be under 50 k's from Milan Airport. But you can obviously Google it. Uh, that would give you a good idea uh, for people coming uh, from Milan or Northern Italy. Uh, you can take the Autostrada, uh, the Milan Autostrada to uh, Lugano. Uh, one thing you do need to be aware of is if you are actually driving, uh, if you're taking public transport, then obviously there's uh, nothing to be concerned about. But if you are actually, if you are, if you are planning on driving to Lugano, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is uh, on Swiss motorways, you have to pay an annual uh, one-off uh, call it a road tax or a tax stamp or a stamp it's, it's actually a sticker that goes on the front of your car on the, on the windscreen of your car and uh, once you've paid it it's actually valid for the, for the whole calendar of year uh, so it doesn't mean so let so if, even if you were to buy it let's say on the 31st of December it's only gonna be valid for one day and then come the next day if you will require to buy it will be required to buy another one uh, the other thing uh, uh, is that you actually, if, and that's only if you uh, are, if you intend to use the, the Swiss motorway network, but if you're only planning like we did, because uh, if it's just a one-off uh, uh, trip, then as long as you, and if you're using a navigator, the easiest way to actually get around this is to uh, just, you know, avoid tolls when you if you're looking up when you look up Lugano on, on, on Google Maps then it'll take you through the the, the, the off-roads and the little towns and uh, so this way you won't have to pay uh, for the, uh, the, the, the the stamp which obviously it's obviously so there's no point in, in paying for one if you're only going to be using it once uh, so yeah I guess that's just a bit of a tip uh, now as you can see uh, here's another white chart of this Lake Lugano. Uh, uh, as you might be able to see in the distance, uh, there's the, the ferry that actually will take you around the whole lake. Uh, tickets aren't, aren't that, that, that expensive. Uh, the other thing is uh, Switzerland, for people who aren't already aware, even though it's actually it's part of the Schengen area, uh, so if you have, for people who, 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 who do require visa to enter, uh, Europe, uh, it, although it is actually part of uh, uh, the Schengen area, it's not part of European Union. So, and it doesn't have it's, it's got its own currency, which is a Swiss franc. And they, so you yeah, have people who aren't already aware. So you know, do need to be mindful of the fact that uh, if you do come here and do intend to stay, then you will require, uh, you might require the, uh, to convert some local currency. Uh, and then, as you can see. Uh, there's some paddle boats, uh, and then in, in the distance there's, there's, there's some, uh, I don't want to use the wrong term, but I, I suppose it's, uh, they're called wind yachts, I suppose. Uh, you might be able to see in the distance. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful lake, and uh, now I'm actually just going to turn back towards the the, the other side of uh, this esplanade if you want to call it I suppose that could be a the correct term for this type of uh, road uh, here's the is actually the main esplanade uh, not entirely sure <laughs> what uh, the, the actual name of this road is because again it's been uh, last time I was here was in 2013 so I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember exactly what the name. But as you can see, there's, there's actually people people around cafes and bars uh, are open. Uh, 
uh, and there's people in there. Once again, <laughs> not a lot of people actually haven't seen so you get to see. Ah, that's there you go. That's the first person I've seen wearing a face mask. But uh, either people aren't that concerned or can't actually comment on why that is the case. So, so now I'm actually heading towards the other side of the lake. Now I actually do intend to keep this uh, below the 10 minute mark. Uh, the uh, one couple of landmarks that I can actually, uh, I'd like, I, I would recommend uh, visiting around this area. Uh, one is, uh, there's actually a couple of little small cities close to uh, Lugano. Uh, so the first one is Bellinzona. I would definitely recommend going to Bellinzona. Bellinzona is, uh, I'll put the names in the description, the, the, the description below, but the, one of the uh, Key landmarks in Bellinzona is the Bellinzona Castle, which is absolutely beautiful, and uh, it's, it's got an amazing view to it. Uh, there you go. There's some medieval. Uh, I believe that's a medieval uh, church right there. Uh, some other antique building right there. So, all kind of amusement uh, activities and going on around this passage. Uh, so here we are on the other side. So that obviously, that so I just obviously uh, I've come from the other side, and uh, that's sort of like the the, the, the densely the populated uh, the night area sort of uh, and this uh, whereas this is actually is uh, a bit more open and there's uh, come here relax for the day uh, and I, I think yeah the, the views as you can see I think the views so I've just come from over there and so just making my way to the other side now and uh, as you can see uh, the views here keep getting better and better so Now this is actually a really long passage that uh, goes, so we're actually walking towards uh, the south, I believe, and as you can see, here there's, there's quite a few people around. Uh, now this I think is well, the best, one of the best picture point and uh, beautiful beautiful view and uh, I think it's the best point for you guys to take picture if you ever do come to Locarno and actually this is where I'm actually gonna end this short video uh, so there you go that's just another wide shot and then I'm gonna end this right here. So, there you go, guys. So, just as you've seen, uh, life coming back to normal in this uh, beautiful part of the world. Uh, one of my favorite places in the world, in fact, uh, is southern Switzerland. Uh, once again, uh, if uh, do, you can find all the information about visiting uh, on uh, the, the, the local council websites. And uh, as, you, as you've seen, uh, things have actually been sort of back to normal. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people around. And uh, actually, I haven't had any trouble. I did actually, I think I did make a, a short little clip. I did a clip of while we were crossing the uh, the, the border. And it's actually, it's, it's no bit fast because usually they only check uh, if you were on the border, uh, don't have to be worried anything. Uh, it's just a, uh, it's just random checks. So it's just random uh, ID checks. Sometimes they do stop people and uh, do ID checks, especially the the uh, 
the small uh the if you were to take the the back roads because that's what we did but the big uh the, the main uh, border from if you're coming from milan which is castle it's called castle uh that one it actually does get quite busy so just you keep that in mind if you are actually heading this way it can, can get that, uh, quite busy but i once again would recommend actually taking the back roads uh which is uh, gonna make your life a lot easier and then you, of course you also won't have to pay the, 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 those 20 30 francs for a uh, for the road tax if you want to call it that or the motorway fee or whatever or the road charge or whatever so anyways guys, anyway guys uh, thanks for watching this video I know it was a bit of a detour uh, but I, I still think you know this should have given you a good preview into uh, how actually thing, things actually sit uh, in in Switzerland, or at least a certain part of Switzerland. And this actually is the capital of uh, Tessin. This is actually the biggest city. Lugano is the biggest city uh, in terms of population and size. Uh, so at least you got a preview to what things actually look like. So, and to be honest, I'm a bit surprised as well. Things actually look more normal here than they do back home. Back in when I say back home. <laughs> I mean, uh, Northern Italy in my area. So, anyway, guys, uh, so that's it for me. Um, I'll wrap this up here. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did like the video, if you've got any questions, any specific questions about uh, Ticino or visiting or coming here, uh, please do put them in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to any, any questions specific or even if they're not specific, any questions uh, regardless. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.